In the previous video, we ran our first container. In this video, we're going to run the second container and we will try to make them communicate with each other. There's something that you need to keep in mind. This is not going to work on Mac OS 15. You need to be on Mac OS 26, but let's jump right in. Notice that we're going to launch a second container here using this web test image. That's what we're specifying here. And when this container runs, we're going to specify this curl command that is going to ping the other container. Just make sure that this is the IP address that your container got. I'm going to exit out of here. This exits out of the container. I'm going to run the container ls command. And yes, that is the IP address 64.3. I'm just going to copy this command, go back to my terminal, paste it here. The other container is being executed right now and it failed. I don't know why. Let's give it a try again. Execute it. Fail to connect port 80 after three seconds. Let's try to do something. I'm going to run another container. I'm just going to copy this command, pasted it here, but notice that I'm giving it a different name. This is my web server tool. Just going to execute this. This should create another container. If I run here, container, container LS, I should see both of them running there. I'm going to exec into that web server two container. So here it is, exec into the my web server dash two. Let's hit enter here. Now let me try to curl the other container. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and this should work in theory. It failed. I'm not sure why it cannot connect to the server. I assume it's an issue with macOS or something. Oh yeah, I didn't get this. My containers cannot communicate between them. Let's see if it works using DNS. I'm just going to copy this. Just going to paste it here, hit enter and it cannot connect to that container on port 80. I'm wondering if this is related to Mac OS settings, if a restart would help. I don't know. I'll try it another day after I restart. But to be honest, this doesn't need to work for me right now because all I need to make sure is that containers run and that I can get to a container. Or could it be related to Mac OS 15 and it's only working on Mac OS 26? I don't know. Seems like a firewall issue or something. After doing a search, I was able to find that this person has the same problem. You can see the error down here could not connect the server. And as we imagined, it's a limitation with Mac OS 15. There's this link here in case that you want to read more about it. The VMNet framework in Mac OS 15 can only provide networks where the attached containers are isolated from one another. Container to container communication over the virtual network is not possible. We can read more about it down here, but now we know what the problem is. Remember that this video is part of a playlist. If you're not following, go and check out the previous videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to support me as well to keep this channel going, you can consider becoming a member. I'm going to leave a link in the video description as well. I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next video.